The history of fiddling in Canada goes back many years and has produced many talented fiddlers, although not all of them still live there. Dozens of fiddlers have come from Canada and still do today. Many of them immigrated to cities in Worcester County, Massachusetts, including Leominster and Fitchburg. I've been playing music with my grandfather and other Canadian musicians for four years as of September of 2011. It's hard to believe that it has already been that long. It feels like yesterday when I went to my first jam with my grandfather. Along the course of these four years, many memories have been created that I will never forget. Lately, these have brought me to the realization that I would like to document some of the stories and songs that I have heard throughout the years. This is the music in our lives and the stories that go with it. Somebody else must have been playing oh, it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But Ned Lord was playing it, and I learned that yeah, carnival yeah. reel. Yeah. 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 They were a good reel. They used to come up with all these tunes, one after another. I don't know where he got them, but he. Well, yeah, he where was, did you learn them all? He was playing them. I'm telling you, Dennis, my brother sent me the tape, and I put it in my truck, and I learned them. Yeah? That's how he did. I'm glad you learned I them because I could learn them from you. With well. my truck. Yeah. Know? Pass them, pass them on the two. Yeah, well, a lot of them used to play. I, I, I never heard of you know. And so I, I, I liked them, and I just, just learned them from him, you know. So <laughs> well, hey. you know, as the way it goes, you know. Oh, yeah. How about uh, Grandfather's Reel? Grandfather's Reel. Oh, my God. Want to play Grandfather's Reel? I'm not Grandfather's Reel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please. That's a toughie for me. Oh, 
Well, that's the big back reel. All right. Thought that was my father playing the piano. I was listening, honest to goodness. The chord he was putting in there, I could yeah. hear my father playing. <laughs> but I think that's all you need to do. Hey, do you know Winter Rio? I do.
It's got a winter reel. Hey, can you hum winter reel? Uh, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Chinese breakdown. How are you? Hey, Richie. How are you, oh, Richie? Good. Nice to see you, old buddy. See you. Nice you to see you. Now we have a real fiddler. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, I do. How are you? Richie? I good, do. How are you? How's that dog of yours? Good. Oh, yeah, very he's good. Probably, he's Can probably you use one? I'll give him a call. Yeah, 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 he can do you use with it now? Oh, oh yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Hey Victor, it's Ronnie's grandson. Hey, are you planning on coming today? Everybody's here. What? You didn't know what? I was playing around with new strings. Oh, yeah, go ahead. What? Everybody's here. Papa's here, Rich is here, Willie's here. We're just waiting for you. Yeah. Now it's a fill. It's a real fill. It's 110. You know what? These two, these so two, come on. What? The wow. the cheapest ones you can buy. Okay. Well, bring your fiddle. Small and you're easy to play. <laughs> okay. See you in a bit. I'm trying one right, more. Right. Set. I have it on my small tape. On my small tape recorder, you know, small yeah. one I have. And I just listen to that. You know, I just keep listening to it. You know, I just, I just love to, to hear yeah. it. That's all. You know. And I don't even play that version. Well, it's. Uh, I've been working on that tune for probably three to four years. You do a little bit at a time and you come back to it. Yeah, that's right. I could work on it probably for a century and not get it. Hey, there's a tune. That, that girl played. Uh, it's, it, it, Brian's got the video. You could learn no. that, but no problem. It's a beautiful tune. Yeah. Hey, Brian, what's that tune that? We listened to a Natalie play that, that we told, told Richard. I mean, you mean the uh, one that we told Victor? Yeah. Well, dismissal you know, reel. No, dismissal reel. He, he could learn that. Yeah. Like yeah. He, could. he could. And it's a beautiful. It, it's a pretty. It's, was it Natalie McMaster? Yeah. 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 You could learn that. Yeah. I, I could show it to you right now. Yeah. You could learn that. I, I think it's a nice I think it's a nice There she is. Is that the one I gave you? No, I have that for you though. This is a Leahy DVD. This is it the after one this coming one? up after this. After this one. Jeez, the fiddle looks like mine. <laughs>
Victor plays this pretty nice. I gotta try to learn that. So it takes a while. I've heard that before. Yeah? Isn't that the old cold brain burrito? You used to call that cold brain food? This one? Really? No question. This is how I used to call it. Yeah? I don't remember. Did you ever try to play it? Yeah, a long time ago. Do you like that? But there is a way. There is a way for each part. I mean, you know, you can pop in the bottom. You can play to the, 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 the back. I think it's too hard, right? Supposed to. Supposed to weigh so much. I keep trying to do it. Tell me that I'm too heavy. You sort of think I'm very much in this one. Well, you don't need the rosin in your bowl, huh? Can I use... It's got rosin. If I need some That's rosin, I just have to go like... under the bridge <laughs> a few times. It's kind of handy. Yeah. Hey, do I need some string with you? Huh? That's <laughs> Nobody's playing this, why? <laughs> the fiddle string going. Over here. They're going out. Hey, Victor. How you doing? Hey, good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Hey, Richie, I'm looking to the window. Is it cold on your hand? My no good blog, it wouldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to make the fan slower, Brian? I go, go, go. You can keep your hat on. Anyway, Victor, keep your hat on. It just bothers you. You look good with the hat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It makes you give some, some character. Character. There you go. That's the word you're looking for. A real fiddler. Yeah. Uh, yeah now you're real. a real fiddler. I forget my red chair. <laughs> Victor.
that's New Brunswick music? Yeah. yeah. Do you call it Acadian? Yeah. Or, yes? I, I don't have Acadian. And, and you three were from New Brunswick? Yeah. yeah. I was born in the state. Yeah, and then you went up? We went to over. Oh, they probably went back doing it to pregnant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about if you go on top? Look at all these good fitness from Quebec, the Joseph Allah, the Indian yeah. Joseph. Oh, yeah. They yeah. all know who they were. Is it still yeah. Acadian yeah. fiddling if you go into Ontario and all that? Is it still considered uh, Canadian? Oh, it's a Canadian. Oh, yeah. just Canadian. More or less Canadian fiddling. Yeah. I, I wouldn't specify to one. Well, it's like. All over Canada. Canada. It's like yeah. the language. If yeah. you come from. You're in Boston, it's yeah. different from here. Yeah. 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 New York. Yeah. And it's not that it's the better word. No, yeah, yeah, it's it different. But it's, 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 it's all the Canadian style music. They play with a little different flavor, the little different <coughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's the beauty right. is like exactly. It's, exactly. Exactly. it's yeah. the same tune, but it's played a little, a little bit, bit different. Oh, yeah. 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 It's like Cape Breton. Yeah. What's the story behind him? Behind this guy here? Yeah. Well, it's not something I invented. I'll tell you that. But you did make it. But I did make it. I made two like this. And uh, I'm not an expert at making a dance. Victor? Little duty reel. Victor, play Road to the Eye, then the next one there. After you start that, then I'll start with it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. No, 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 no. Who are you going to start? This is a duty reel. I say, what? We all came to Massachusetts. That was the place to go? I guess so. I married a girl from Lamonster after I came up. Yeah. And how did you end up here, Willie? How, wh how did you come to Lamonster? I came here in 1953. And I was playing with his father when I left. Yeah. Oh. I'm sure now. We used to play the AA, no alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I remember when Willie left. Please. Willie left, and then some. Who was replaced here? Gerald Cougain? Yeah, yeah, Jody yeah, yeah, I remember that. How'd you end up here, Richie? My wife's from Bloomberg. Oh, and you were from? I'm from Quebec. Quebec. Mm -hmm. 
How long did you live in Quebec? Well, I was born here in the United States. We moved back to Canada in 76, and then when I graduated from high school, I moved back on my own. And Brian, you're from here? Oh, yeah. I've only been to Canada a couple times. Don Messer used to play on the radio way back in the 30s, right, Victor? Yeah. Back in the 30s, he had his own radio show from Princeton with Island across the country, right yeah. across the country, yeah. on CBC, yeah. you know, a CBA yeah. or something and like that. we had a little battery radio, we could listen 15 minutes a week, and that's what we listened to. So everybody, every kid playing the violin, well, it was their idol. Yeah. You know, they had to... Listen to Don Messer to learn tunes, you know what I mean? Yeah. Don, Don Messer played the fiddle? Yeah, he played yeah. the fiddle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He had his own band. Yep. And then, and there was no tape recorders then that you could tape, you know. You had to wait probably a month before you heard that tune again. Yeah, yeah. so if you if you liked that tune, you had to wait till he played it. He never right. played the same number, never. Mm -hmm. No, when he, that, that was the problem. It's always a new one coming out in the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wednesday night at uh, I think it was 7 o'clock to 7.30. Yeah. Yeah, and Ma Drawborn, he used to yeah. sing. Yeah, well, after a while, yeah. So you, you'd hear that after tune, all, he had, uh, and you'd run like a son of a gun to grab the violin before, before you forgot it. Singer, you had, uh, <laughs> because you know it's going to be a long time before you heard it. <laughs> Uh, they die about the same time. Or you're hoping somebody else will learn it and you can copy them. Well, yeah. I'm going to go a little easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah you could, you could hold that. What, what about your father, Ronnie? What, what did he play and tell us about him? My father uh, was playing the piano. He played with Don Messer. He played with Don Messer. He played with Hank Snow, a famous country music yeah. singer. And uh, Victor knew my father. He knew who he was, right? Oh, you've yeah. seen my father. Well, he used to come visit. Yeah, he used to come every year. Yeah, he used to visit Florence. Her, yeah. Him and Florence were like this. Oh, yeah. I, I, I used and to and Florence, and were real good buddies. Florence played the piano. Yeah, yeah Florence yeah. played the piano. <laughs> and uh, yeah. he used to come yeah. every year. And he used to get together with Florence. So the one that, you know, and probably the first one he would contact was Florence, which he got here, because he knew they were going to get some music going, right? Yeah. And they used to get a, get in the house somewhere and have a house party and yeah, well, Florence's uh, father played. Yeah, the yeah, old Nori there. Yeah, yeah. Nori, yeah, yeah. yeah. What That's instruments right. did your father play? Piano, piano, piano. piano. Yeah. He used to play on a radio in the morning, four to six. He would. Yeah. He, he would played. Would now he played. My father played. Willie can tell you that morning. I was probably twelve years old. Willie, my father, they all had a band. They had a regular, oh. country, you know, a fiddle band. And he used to play in this club every Saturday night. Oh. Willie was the fiddler. My father was the piano. There was a drummer, right, yeah. Piazzone, 
And how about the guitar? Who was the guitar? No guitar. No guitar? It was just the three of yes. Okay. Between and my years. father used to take me there on Saturday night once in a while so I could listen to Willie play the violin. I was probably 12. Hmm. And that was a big thing for me to be able to go see, sit down and watch Willie. All the tunes, and then I try His to remember some of them. Any place in Montreal, that's a goodie was. Yeah. Flats, traffic, you know, everywhere. Oh, yeah, you played good. good. What's her last name, Florence? Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah. And she played well, with you for a long time. She right? played with Victor and I and Richie for and was a she from, and Willie, too. Was she from New Brunswick, too? Then? Yes, she was born in yeah. She was born in New Brunswick, but, and then she came here as a young girl. She was probably 16 when she came here. And she was a very good, I have Richie, she was a very yes. good piano player. When are you going to start uh, having the young king? I don't know. Uh, you don't know? <laughs> You're gonna plan and do it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say we miss Florence a lot. Yeah, well, she yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. We do. We do. Yeah. She was, she was part of us. Yeah. We do. We she we uh, used to go there. Uh, just she, like we. She was a, here. a good influence. She, she would have been here if she yeah. hadn't passed oh, away. Yeah. Definitely. She'd be here. Oh. She's here, but the spirit. I, right. She's listening. But uh, yeah. She. She. She's the one that got you to play piano, Brian, right? Pretty well, much. Well, yeah. You watched her. She was a great well, influence on him. I, I had showed up with my guitar because, <laughs> you know, that was my main instrument, well, still is. And you were playing fiddle, obviously. And yeah. Leo, I think, was there the first time and was playing fiddle. And Florence was playing piano. I said, okay, no one else is playing guitar, so this is my spot. And just generally, as a rule, in my opinion, and I know he said it in his opinion too, piano fills way more sound than than guitar does. If you if it's just going to be alone, piano and fiddle. Yeah. So she passed away, and if Rich wasn't around, there's no piano player. So I said, forget this. It sounds too sounds too bare just playing with guitar and piano. So one day I said to him, we usually have our piano there. I got right there. And I said. Hey, I'm, I'm going to try playing the piano. So I played, and it was just something I was screwing around with. Like, I just do stuff like that all the time. I'll get on my drums, play guitar and drums at the same time. Just dumb stuff. And he says, no, you, you're going to keep playing piano. <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're not stopping. You're playing piano. So the next week, I just kind of chewed it away, just thinking, okay, you know, he's just saying that. Next week, I played a few tunes on guitar. He says, hey... <laughs> get on the piano. <laughs> okay. To me, you can't be the piano. So, when Rich, when Rich isn't around, I, I play piano, but Rich generally if Rich is that. around, we, we have Rich yeah, play piano.
start at E. Yep. I should know because it's pretty Daddy popular in Canada. Um, okay, here we go.
Professionally played. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 about when you started? When I started? I was crying for a fiddle, I was five years old, but we didn't see it. Had nothing we could buy. So one of my uncle, he, he bought one for his son, and he wouldn't play, so he brought me the fiddle. I was, I think I was 16 years old when I started. And I started with the roll tabos. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's what that's what I played. That was yeah. one of my first one too. After that, that first one I played a while ago, that was my number. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and, and then I got married and I didn't practice like I should have. <laughs> With eleven children, you had to give attention to the children before you fiddle. I had to, to stop because they used to call 10, 11 o'clock at night to play the fiddle. Can you imagine? It wasn't. It's time for me to go rest. Yeah. So we could get up with him at night. Violin. <laughs> How old is it? Tell me. My about violin. It. Let me see. I have a friend. He's a mutual friend of all of us. Ivan Richards. From Gardner. He's had this violin for I think he said 1958. Probably. And he wanted to sell it to me, and after I played it on it. I wanted to buy it, so that's how I acquired this violin. It's probably about a hundred years old, no more than that. And Who made it? This suits you me. Know? I don't know. It okay. uh, looks like it might be a German. It's a copy of a Stradivarius. Mm -hmm. They're all copies. It looks like a German, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it might be a German. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah oh, and they were good. They were good fiddle players. Oh yeah, and the German fiddle was good. Yeah. They were good. <laughs> Tell us about yours. Yours. Well, it's a, it's a long story, but to make a long story short... <laughs> we I have played, time for a long story. I played in Waltham in the fiddle contest, and I had a good fiddle. I had paid 450 bucks when I came here 63 years ago from this guy that was a retreat house in Hudson, New Hampshire, and, and he, he had arthritis, he couldn't play. So he said, I'll sell you my fiddle. So I went to play in all them, and somebody stole it. Oh. So I was left with no fiddle. So I I uh, I bought one from Emil. Emil, he was blind. Emil Nelson. Emil Nelson. Yeah, Emil Nelson. He was a blind man, and and 
I rented a car. I had it for 45 years. And then I rented a car to go to Canada. Then when I came back, I left my fiddle in the car. Before I was, it was all unloaded, somebody came and stole the fiddle in the car. He left the trunk open. Huh? No, 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 it was in the car lot. No, 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 no. And the one that was stolen in Waltham, you had checked, remember? I had checked it, I could have sued Like in a coat, check the coat, you know, you checked the fiddle. Because I was afraid somebody would steal it. Yeah. And when I got there, it wasn't there. Wow. But I didn't want to say nothing to the, the, the lady. It was an old lady that was checking the coat. But I had my ticket, like when you check the coat. Mm -hmm. So I never did anything. And then, and then I got one from his father, the last one. This one. Yeah. But I had ten. I had ten fiddles that somebody gave me here and there. And they burned in the fire last year. My house burned. And they all burned. I had one that was made from him. The fiddle. My best. My yeah. best. Fiddle. And I had a guitar that I had bought when I came here, a Gibson. I paid twenty-two dollars <laughs> in the pawn shop. Yeah. I, they would have traded for Martin, anything I wanted. But, but I kept it because it was a uh, souvenir. Yeah. Yeah. But it burned too. So the, the, the good thing is all the zig were not in it. Where'd you get that violin? First one I bought was in Montreal. Yeah? It was in the pawn shop, $20. And the little guy used it, there was no case, so he put it in the back of the window, and the sun burned, it peeled like orange. Yeah. Then I let somebody borrow it, and he saw it. He's drunk. I lost two fiddles like that, two guitars. Let somebody borrow it. I had a suit. I bought it in St. John. I think I paid 100 bucks for that. That whole yeah. Nice big one. And we, I went to the island for a wedding. The guy said, let me have for the weekend. Phil Vaughn again. Yeah. And those good with beer. <laughs> yeah, one of the German fiddle I had was a Hoff. Yep. Dark one. Thanks. Sure, I learned on this one. Yeah. Your uh, this fiddle I, I got from an old timer across the street from me. He was 90 years old, and his wife was also 90 years old. And she says, This is a violin that my sister used to use to play classical music back in the 30s. And so she got uh, tuberculosis. She was young, but she was playing classical music with this violin. And she died. And they put the violin in an attic. For 60 years, stayed there. Finally, they were cleaning the attic one day. The violin was there. Three tons of stuff on top of it. Crushed the case. And then he took it home. And then there was a little uh, repair to do on it, which he did a pretty good job. A guy that didn't know too much about violin, but he was pretty brilliant, you know? He was a machinist, so he do, you know. And one day, he was telling me about it, and. Uh, I said, I'd like to try it, you know? And when I put the bow on that violin, I said, I says, would you like to sell it? Sell it? He said, it's yours. Take it. What the heck am I going to do with a violin 90 years old? He said, <laughs> so there it is. I took it home and been playing with it. Good story. Yeah, yeah. Brian, you play guitar, mandolin? Guitar, mandolin. A little yeah. banjo? Little fiddle? N not enough banjo and mm. hardly any fiddle. It sounds like a cat dying usually when I try to play fiddle, so I don't know that. <laughs> but you I play like mandolin? Mm -hmm. 
It would be nice to play mandolin, but there's no strings on it. Went and, cu- went and cut all my strings off and found that I had no strings. I said, oh, great. Five years, baby. We yeah. call that one Victor's Polka. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
was your first song? Yeah, right? yeah tell, always tell, first song, yeah. Yeah, tell and us about how. I would hear it on the radio, and I, I'd go to violin, and I'd, right off the bat, I'd go. And then that was it. I just couldn't wait. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then you had to wait. <laughs> and, and, Boy, I wish I knew the rest. <laughs>